welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Erin and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a, another Target Beauty Box unboxing for you and this is April's box. But if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified of all the future videos that I post. I try to change it up here on my channel. I do quite a few unboxings, but I also do baking for beginners videos, favorites videos, tag videos, with a number of other things thrown in. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all the videos that I create for you. But as I said, I'm going to be unboxing April's Target box. But in this video, I'm also going to be doing a review of the products that I got in March's box to let you know what I thought of them. If you're not familiar with the Target Beauty Box, they now are doing them pretty much every month, but it's not like a subscription service such as Birchbox or Ipsy, where you can sign up and be guaranteed to get it every month. Instead, you kind of have to keep an eye on things, and as soon as they release the box, go and order one because they do sell out pretty quickly, so you're not guaranteed to get one. But if you want to make sure to get the May Box, then make sure you're following me on all my social media. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I'll be sure to post that on definitely Facebook and Twitter. So make sure that you follow those so that you can be alerted about the next box when it's available. The prices range for the Target box from $5 to $10, and this month's box was $7. So let's get right into it and see what Target has for April. I like what they have on this card to start off. It says, hello sunshine. So I'm guessing that maybe it's gonna be more of a summertime theme, which I think I might enjoy. And of course, as always, we have our $3 off a beauty purchase of $15 or more at Target coupon. And they've got some bright yellow tissue to go along with the sunshine theme this month. Just so you know too, you can find out what you're gonna be getting in these boxes. They do kind of have a picture of everything when you go to order it, but I try to avoid looking at that because I do like to be surprised, so I usually wait to be surprised to find out what's in there. But first, we've got some simple cleansing facial wipes, and this looks like it's a good travel size. I have tried some of the simple facial wipes, but I don't know if it was these particular ones. So I will give them a try and see how I like them because the other simple ones I had, I didn't like all that much. I felt they were a little bit too dry and I had to work a little bit too hard to get the makeup off and stuff, but I'll see how these ones work. And next we have a product by Sarah V. That's interesting. It's a healing ointment. And actually I just got this in my last Walmart beauty box when I did the battle of the two Walmart beauty boxes. So I'll link that up above for you if you wanna check that out. But I got this exact same product in there, exact same size. So that's interesting, but I do like it. It does work well for healing dry cracked skin. Next is a product by Marlo and it's a body butter. A, an ultra rich butter which provides long lasting skin hydration so that's nice. I do like body butters. I'll be excited to try this out. I always enjoy getting new lotions to try. And it has a very, very faint scent to it. I mean, I had a smell pretty hard to uh, detect the scent, so I don't think it would be anything that would be bothersome to anybody as far as the scent goes. And if you like me reviewing the products, at each month after unboxing the new box, then let me know that and I'll be sure to review this for next month. Ooh, a sunscreen, it's Hawaiian Tropic Island Sport Ultra Light High Performance Sunscreen, Light Tropical Scent, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So that's a pretty, si pretty decent sized sample of sunscreen and you know I don't mind getting sunscreens because I need them with my fair Irish skin and I like being able to try out different ones without having to purchase a full size bottle. Can't really smell this unless I squeeze it out, but again, I can review it for you next month if you would like. And we have a Pantene Brushable Flexible Hold Hairspray. 
And that's interesting that it came all packaged like this because usually things aren't in packages like this, but it looks like they've also put a Pantene coupon in there. But I do have a lot of sample hairsprays right now, but I, if I do a review, I'll try this one out for you and let you know how it is. Oh, and this I'm excited about. It's a lip product, of course. Thank you, Target, for going back to the lip products. I hope this will be one that works out well. It's by CoverGirl. And it doesn't say what the line is, just CoverGirl. But I think this is kind of one of their, I think this is one of their tinted moisturizers. And it's in the color Yummy Pink. I love the packaging, how it's pink outside and then it shows you the actual color on the end here. Ooh, it looks like it's a really pretty soft pink. Oh, and I even like the packaging inside, how it gets a bit darker. So let's swatch it. So as far as I can tell, it is pretty moisturizing as far as lipstick go. The color is pretty faint, but it looks as though you could build it up, so that's good. And it's a very pretty light pink that I think will be great for spring and summer. So we'll see how it works out on the lips because sometimes it might swatch good, but not might, might not work out so well on the lips. So we'll see how that goes. And this final item is by Laneige, which is a brand that I've really been liking. And it's Water Bank Soothing Gel Mask. Refreshing Hydra Gel Moisture Mask infused with hydro ionized mineral water and biogen technology for all skin types. Interesting, it looks like it goes over the whole top part of your face, or actually it looks like the whole face, but in two parts. So. Yes, open the pouch and remove top and bottom mask sheets, so it's a sheet mask. So I haven't used any sheet masks yet, but for next month I will give this a try and see how it works. As I said, so far I've been pretty happy with the Laneige products, so hopefully this won't disappoint. And then we just have a little sample here for the Maybelline Dream Velvet Gel Whipped Foundation and this is in classic ivory as well as a two dollar off coupon. So overall I'm happy with April's Target Beauty Box. It's not the best one I've ever gotten but it you know Target just doesn't disappoint. I'm happy with a lot of the items. I For seven dollars I think it's good. I honestly don't know how much each item breaks down to in price, but I will try to find that out for you and link everything down below in the description box to let you know what each item costs, but I will also try to find out what the total value of the box is. So if I had to pick two favorites for this box, I wonder if you can guess what they would be. If you've watched enough of my videos, you probably can. It's the body butter, which I'm hoping works really well, but I always, as I said, love trying new lotions. And of course the lip product, how can that not be a favorite? I'm excited to try it. But there's really nothing in this box that I was disappointed or let down by, so that is definitely nice. So I just checked for you, and according to Target's website, this box has a value of $26, so you pay $7 and get $26 worth of items. So now I'm going to review the March box. If you did not see that video, I will link it above for you so that you can go and check it out to see what the items were so you'll kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm first going to start with the items that were individual sample sizes that I no longer have anymore and then I'll get into the products that I still currently have. So the first thing was the Nug face mask and I felt that this sample was not enough to give a full review on. I liked it for the one time use that I had it, but it is hard to really tell when you can only use a product once. I also wish that they used different packaging because there was mo enough product in the package to use it more than once, but because it wasn't resealable, it wasn't able to be stored and used again and kept sanitary. So for Nug sample face masks, in order to get a good idea, I think they should use a little bit different packaging. 
The other item that I could not keep for you was the Clairol Hair Food Shampoo and Conditioner. It was just a foil sample packet. And I actually really liked that. I've been happy with the hair food products. I like their hair mask, but I also liked their regular shampoo and conditioner that I tried. Granted, I only used it once, but I definitely noticed a difference in my hair. It seemed like it worked over a number of days at keeping it looking nice and soft, and I enjoyed it so much that I would consider purchasing the full size. Now on to the items that I do have. There's two that I was unable to sample for you, and that was the Not Your Mother's Sea Salt Hairspray, simply because I cut my hair shorter and have not been curling it and didn't really have a need for a sea salt spray right now. But if I do end up trying it, I will let you know how I like it. The other thing I didn't get to try yet was the Banana Boat Sunscreen, simply because it hasn't been that warm where I live and I haven't had a need for a full-on sunscreen, but I am going to be using it when I go to Las Vegas soon, so I'll try to let you know how it works out. On to the products I did get to try, the first being the You Are Amazing Hello Beautiful Skin Body Lotion and Juicy Grapefruit. I love the scent of this. It's somewhat strong when you put it on, stronger than I thought it would be smelling it in the bottle, but it isn't overpowering and it's a nice fresh citrus grapefruit smell that kind of makes you feel awake. So I love the smell of it. The formula I'm not really sure about because I felt like it was difficult to get it to absorb into my skin and I've used other lotions that moisturize much better, so I don't know if I would get it again, but I have been enjoying using it right now for the scent. As you can see, I've almost completely used it. I also tried out the Caress Body Wash in Adore Forever, and it's a nice body wash. It makes me feel clean, as body washes should. I don't dislike the scent, but I wasn't amazed and wowed by the scent. So if I was to get another Caress body wash, it might be in a different scent. I also tried the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I still have quite a bit left of this. Granted, I don't use it every day. I'd say I've probably been using it about once a week, but it has lasted quite a while with this small sample. And I really like it. I feel that it works well. I wake up and my skin feels more moisturized in the morning, especially on those drier nights that I really need it. I still can't say if I like it better than my Origins Overnight Face Mask, but it definitely competes and is something that I would look into getting in the future. The final item is the Sinful Colors Nail Polish, which if you've watched my spring tag, you will know that I love. I love the color, the way that it looks on my nails. It's an excellent color for spring. And I also have to say that the formula is really great because it lasted longer than a lot of my other nail polishes before it chipped or started to look not so great. So I will look into getting more Sinful Colors nail polishes in the future because they have a great variety of colors and it's a good formula. So let me know how you liked this format. Do you prefer that I just do the raw unboxing or do you like getting a review of the previous month's box as well? I would love your feedback on that. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I greatly appreciate it. If you love watching unboxing videos as much as I do, then make sure to check out my unboxing playlist where I include all the unboxing videos that I've done so far. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. I remember thinking to myself one day, I could do this. I could make videos and put them on YouTube because I went to school for broadcasting.